Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a huge PR unboxing with you guys because I recently just went on vacation and I had all of these packages behind me waiting for me when I came home. So I figured that I would do a PR unboxing on YouTube and see how you guys like it. Normally I do my PR unboxings on Snapchat. I do them all the time on there. So if you like this type of video, definitely follow me on Snapchat for more. But I can totally bring them to YouTube if you guys do enjoy. If you're unfamiliar with like what PR is, it's basically the free stuff that YouTubers or influencers get sent. And I feel like a very common misconception with PR is that A, you you have to talk about the stuff you're sent and B, you have to say something positive and that's not the case at least for me or any of the companies that I work with. So yeah, it's not like you have to say anything or like you have to say something positive. That's not really how it works, at least in my experience, but obviously everybody is different. Really quick before we get started, I do want to say a little disclaimer. I know that 99.9% .9 of you guys already know this, but if you're new to my channel and you don't really know me, I do want to let you know that I am in no way, shape or form trying to brag, like totally, totally not. It's just kind of part of the job when it comes with YouTube and when you get these bigger social networks, companies just want to send you their stuff in hopes that maybe you will talk about it and I'm not trying to brag and when I started my YouTube channel I literally had no idea that even PR or any of this stuff even existed I didn't even know that you could make money off of YouTube had no idea when I started my channel did not ever think it would be my job did not ever think that a company would send me something for free so that's not why I started it's not why I still do YouTube but it is just a cool little perk of the job so yeah I'm just gonna show you guys the stuff that I got give this video a thumbs up if you guys like PR boxings and I can totally do more and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave today don't forget hit the subscribe button and yeah let's get started all right so i have eight boxes behind me from companies the first one though i have is from it cosmetics and this obviously came in like another like packaging box this was the first one that i opened when i got back from vacation and then as i was opening this i was like i should do a pr unboxing of all these so i didn't open any of the other ones but this one i did take out of the original packaging so i figured we would just do it first so let's see what's inside so we have some tissue paper. They're all going to have like tissue paper and stuff. So I might not show that on everyone because it's probably going to get boring. Um, okay. This looks like confidence in your glow. It's your blush, bronzer, and highlighter all in one sweep. That sounds cool. Okay. All right. So it looks like we got three of these little trios. I'm assuming they're all different colors. Yes. We got instant nude glow, instant natural glow, and instant warm glow. And then we also got a heavenly skin one sweep wonder brush which looks pretty cool. And then they also sent this cute little thing. This is like a charger, like a portable charger for your phone, which I absolutely adore these. This one looks kind of cool. It kind of looks like something you'd put in like your shower, <laughs> but yeah, it's a portable charger for your phone, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and open one of these up so I can show you guys the actual product. That seems really cool. If it like actually works as a blush bronzer and highlighter, I just don't know how that would really work. You know, Ooh, the packaging is a one that is really, really cute. I love that. Wow, it cosmetics stepping their game up. I really like that packaging. Ooh, Lord, it looks really pretty. All right, so this is what it looks like. We just kind of moved from highlighter to blush to bronzer. It looks really pretty. I feel like though, let's take the brush out and let's see, but I feel like I will not use this brush. Um, like I don't think I would actually just sweep it across and then sweep it on my face. Like I feel like I would use each shade individually with individual brushes. That's just me because I'm like neurotic about that stuff. Let me open this. I have this like blade thing. <laughs> that I use to open my packages. All right, so if we have it like this, we sweep the brush. I feel like, is that how you're supposed to do it? Maybe, are you supposed to go this? I don't know, I feel like they all kind of sweep together. I might put a little on my cheeks. It's kind of like flying over, I don't know if you guys can see that. The brush is really soft though. Okay. I mean, okay. I can tell you guys right now that I probably will not use this brush. Um, I, I feel like it's kind of gimmicky. Like, I don't know. Um, but as far as, Ooh, that's pretty. Um, the pigmentation on the products, they seem to be pretty good. I believe this one is the lightest one, but that's really, really pretty. Um, as far as pigment stuff goes and the packaging is really, really nice. I like the big mirror as well. Um, but yeah, the brush, I feel like Eh, but I feel like I will use this with three separate brushes and just kind of dip my brush into each part. I like that this is bigger too because sometimes when you do like those little trios, you can't really fit the brush in there and then it's like getting into everything else. But this is definitely big enough where you could use individual brushes and not like mix it. Um, so this is really cool. I like this product. All right, up next, we will go with this guy right here. All right, so this one is from L'Oreal. So let's see what we got. Okay, so this is cool. It looks like it's gonna be their Voluminous Mascaras, which I believe I already own. It seems like it's in like a cool packaging. Got lots of bubble wrap here. And this like black box. Oh my God! How cute! Oh, this is 
so cute. Oh my god, and there's a little K on the top of this one. <sighs> this is adorable. So it looks like it's the Voluminous Original in blue and black and then the primer. This is so cute. Oh my god, love this. And I didn't realize the top of the box says L'Oreal. This is literally beautiful. I feel like I will just keep these like as they're all sparkly and bedazzled and I'll just never use them. I'll just keep them to look at them because I have like these in their regular form so I'll use up like the normal ones. You know what I'm saying? But this is really pretty. Up next we have Tarte. I always get so excited when I get a package from Tarte. They always have literally the cutest PR stuff. Like they just, them as a company, they're so cute. All their products are cute. I love it. And it actually says open me by 422, which I think is today. Yes, because today is Earth Day when I'm filming this. Um, you guys will probably see it after, obviously, because it's like 10 o'clock at night right now. But I'm opening it in time. Let's see, but there's something in like a mason jar in here. So this is like the first thing that I see is this. It says Moss Love Unicorn Terranium Kit. <gasps> that is cool. Oh my God, create your own magical mossy world. That is so cool, how cute is this? Oh my God, I'm literally gonna do this like for sure, like right when I'm done filming this. I love like little things like this. That's so cute. And then in here we have the actual products, I'm assuming. Oh my God, I have been wanting to try these so bad as soon as I saw them on Instagram. <gasps> I'm so excited. So they have these two. Let me tell you guys what the actual names are. These are their twinkle sticks and then we have the Gleam Team. So these are like stick highlighters. Ooh, that one is so pretty. Let's do some swatches. Oh my God, they're so like buttery on the skin. That is so pretty, especially if you have fair skin. I feel like you will love this guy. And then we have the darker one. This one is in the shade Spotlight. I feel like this one would be more my shade. Oh my God, how beautiful. Love that. And these feel so creamy. I feel like for summer, beautiful. And then we have the Gleam Team Highlighter. So this looks like one side is a liquid one side is a cream okay so one side is the cream I feel like is this the same shade let's see oh no it's a different shade right there oh my god I can't get over how creamy these are and the other side is a liquid swatch that Ooh, that one's really pretty as well I feel like I like the creams better than the liquid but that is really pretty but these are really really cool Ooh, I'm excited I am excited, you guys. I love highlighters, and I feel like summer is like the season of dowsing yourself in highlighter, and nobody can judge you. I'm excited to use these. All right, I need some makeup wipes. Stat. I'm gonna be wiping off these swatches after every box. Up next, we have Benefit. All right, let's see what's inside here. Ooh, it looks pretty. I see like the face of a girl <laughs> covered in bubble wrap. All right, so this is what's inside. Let's get rid of the box. And if you guys are wondering, because I know someone's gonna ask, I break down every single one of these boxes and I recycle them. Don't worry, it's a pain, but I do it. So my neighbors here like don't recycle at all and I get so mad. It's like, it's really not that hard. All right, so we have a face of a girl that says California. That's so cute. Because I'm pretty sure Benefit, yeah, they're based in, um, I think San Francisco. Oh, this is cute. So it must be a new blush that's called California, a sunny golden pink blush, available now for $29. Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess they have another palette too in here. I thought it was just the blush. So we have a cheek parade. Let's open this up. It has Hula Light in it. Oh my God, I've been wanting to try that. Cause you guys know I love Hula. Like I love it so much, but they came out with a Hula Light. This is so gold. Oh my God, we have Hula, we have Hula Light, we have California, Dandelion, and Rockateur. Is that new? That looks really beautiful. Looks like a highlight. Ooh. I hope you guys can see that. I feel like I'm the worst swatcher in the world. That is a really pretty rosy, pinky highlight. Ooh. And then let's do California as well, so you guys can see it's a very light pink right here. That's really, really pretty. Oh, I love this. Then we have the full size little California blush. I love the little boxy containers that they use. Same one as Hula, so this is just a full size. Ooh, it has like a pretty like sun embossed on it. That's really beautiful. But I already swatched that one for you guys. And then it looks like a pair of sunglasses. Oh, 
These are so cute. Oh my god. I can't see anything though because of the writing. So I don't know if I'll ever wear these, but maybe for like a picture. <laughs> but these are really cute. If you guys can only see the mess right here of all the boxes. All right, and this last one we have, I believe is from BH Cosmetics. And I've actually never gotten um, a PR package from them. They just reached out to me really recently. Okay, so it looks like there is a big box. And this is heavy too. So let's see, it's like busting open. Oh, I think I, I opened it from the wrong side, but. That's B and H. That looks really pretty. Oh my god, I will die if the Carly Bible palette is in here because I want that really bad. If not, I'm buying it for sure. I love Carly. I really want to try her palette. The new one, the deluxe. Ooh, oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. Oh wow, this is so nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it looks like we have Spotlight Highlight Six Color Palette. This one I think slides, so let's take a look. Ooh, very pretty. These look beautiful, excited. Wow, this was really kind. I guess because I've never received anything, they sent me like a lot of their stuff. That was really, really kind. Um, we have another highlighter palette. Then we have the Satin Bronzer. Let's open that up and see what it looks like. I'm not gonna like swatch and open everything just because there's a lot in here. It would like take up 35 minutes with stuff that you guys don't care about. Wow, this packaging is so nice. And I guarantee this bronzer is under $10 and this packaging is beautiful. Like, very pretty. We got some oil blotting sheets, which I will give to Steven because my skin is as dry as the Sierra, but he had Sierra, Sahara, the Sahara Desert. But he has really oily skin, so it's actually good when companies send me stuff for oily skin. I'm always like, Steven, here you go. Let me know how you like it. Because I know a lot of you guys have oily skin. So I remember there was one Murad product, and I told you guys about it because Steven like, loves it um, for oily skin. And I told you guys, I was like, it works if you have oily skin. Um, a waterproof lip liner. Sculpt and Glow Contour Highlight and Blush Palette. Let's open this one up and see. Ooh, this looks like giving me like naked palette vibes. Like throwback to that. Ooh. This looks really pretty. I like that. I guess since I got all this stuff, you guys want me to do a full face using only BH Cosmetics. I can totally do that because I've only ever tried like a few of their eyeshadow palettes and that's it. So I really don't have a lot of experience with their products. So I could totally do like a full face first impressions kind of thing if you guys would like that. Then we got two of their floral blushes. A 15 piece brush set. Ooh, the ultimate brow palette. We have to open this. We, we have to because I'm all about those brows. So we have to open this guy up. Ooh, this is really cool. This would really come in handy for me. Oh, and it looks like those are waxes and these are all powders. Oh, that's a wax too. Ooh, oh, <laughs> story of my life, me shoving my big claw into it, but that's okay. So these are all waxes and then these are all powders. So that's really cool. I like this a lot. Then we have the BH Last Blast Mascara. That was like a tongue twister. Um, we have the Foil Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. And then a Cream Contour Palette. So no Carly Bible Palette, but I'm definitely gonna buy it so I can totally do a tutorial for that um, for you guys. If you guys are interested in seeing that, just let me know. All right, so we finished one side. We will move on to the other. All right, so we have Elf right on top here. Oh, and I know you're not supposed to do that towards yourself. Steven always tells me that whenever I'm opening boxes because he always thinks I'm going to cut myself. I'm like, I'm good. As I'm like flailing around the knife. Ooh, this looks cool. We have a little note. Um, oh, the, it's, the theme is like festival season, so that's cool. Oh, they have a little bandana. Oh, because I always see all those people like when they were at Coachella, they wore like bandanas over their face, I guess, because it's like in the desert or something. I don't really know. I don't know that much about Coachella. I'm an East Coast girl. So whenever I'm posting about it, I was like, what is Coachella? Even though I know what Coachella is, it's just not as big of a thing on the East Coast, I feel like, as it is in the West Coast. You know, like people on the East Coast are just like, huh? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But anyways, off topic, we got some lashes. I don't know if I've ever tried e.l.f. lashes. So these look really beautiful. I'm going to try these out. Then we got, oh, two other tinted lip oils. These are really, really pretty. I've tried these before. They're bomb. Then I got a contouring. Oh, I have this. I love this. This is the kind of like dupe for the NARS um, Orgasm and Laguna little duo, but this is in the shade St. Lucia. And then we got a cream eyeshadow and an eyeliner. Ooh, and a liquid highlighter. Let's try this guy out. You guys know all about the highlighted life. Okay, mm, mm, mm. it's a little liquidy. I don't know. I feel like it's the first word is never the best. 
because it's a little, ooh, oh my goodness gracious, but that is beautiful when you blend it. Holy mackerel, I definitely put too much on. It's about to cover my whole hand, but girl, this is really pretty. I feel like I would add some of this to my foundation to make it like extra dewy. <gasps> yes. All right, up next, we have this. Ooh, oh my God, these are about to fall. These are about to tip. All right, this next box is from Kevin Kwan, which is like, huh, how does he even know who I am? They are like high end, high end, high end. So I'm really excited about this. I really have not um, tried many of their products because they are pricey to be completely honest with you guys, but I'm really excited. So let's open this up. All right, this is a big box. So I'm kind of going to do it on the side. We have some pretty orange paper. Oh wait, this is not from Kevin Aquan. The other one was. I knew there was two like unmarked boxes. One was Kevin Aquan. This one is from InStyler. Um, so this is a Coachella themed one. They gave us like the uh, like the list of all the performers and stuff. Wasn't there? I don't know, but thank you. We have some flash tats. Very cool. These cute little hair. Pins. Ooh, Revitalizing Love and Beauty by Forever 21 little um, makeup remover wipes. These are really cool. I'll definitely try these out because I always look at the makeup in Forever 21 and I'm like, should I try it? Should I not try it? I don't know. But I'm going to try those out. We have an After Sun Skin Smoothing Aloe Mist. Wow, this is really cool. Like for the people that actually went to Coachella, I feel like this would actually be helpful. Um, Beat the Heat, a little water bottle. I will definitely use this. So cute. And then, of course, we have an InStyler. Next, we will do Smashbox. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh my god, I'm so excited! The Casey Holmes Smashbox collab! Oh my god, you guys, you don't even know how excited I am about this. Ah, this is so cool! I adore Casey. Oh my goodness gracious, like, she was one of the first YouTubers that I ever watch and like literally years and years ago when I first started YouTube I did like a Casey Holmes inspired makeup tutorial and she commented on it and I fangirled like crazy I had like maybe like 300 subscribers at the time um, but I adore her I just think she's so nice I love her videos and I was so happy when I saw that she was collabing with Smashbox so I'm really really excited to receive this I actually purchased um, one of her palettes already but this is so sweet she said I hope you can enjoy these palettes and I can't wait to see you glow, XO Casey Holmes. Oh, sorry, I'm like not even holding it in the screen. How beautiful, and she looks so pretty. Wow, this is really, really beautiful. Oh my goodness. So these are both of her palettes. So we have the, I know there are different names for them. I don't even know which one it is that I have. Okay, I'm not sure where it says the name of the box. Oh, here we are, <gasps> right on the front. The pearl palette and then the gold palette, so. We have to open these up, we have to. This is so pretty, because I'll be completely honest with you guys, I ordered these and I didn't even take it out of the box yet. I'm so bad, because I order makeup and then, you know, I was away and I came home and I had all these boxes and I didn't even open it yet. But now, I'm so excited, this is beautiful. Ooh, girl, yes, how pretty. Let's do some swatchy, sw oh my goodness. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm like totally out of focus, but that is beautiful. Let's pop that on my cheeks. Thank you so much. I'm sorry if I was just out of focus for the last like five minutes. Okay, yes girl. Very, very pretty. And then the gold palette. Let's open this guy up. Oh my goodness, so, so beautiful. Yes. Wow, and these are like so buttery too, but they have almost like a a different texture than the typical highlight, but they are so pretty. And I remember Casey saying how she really wanted to develop them so they don't emphasize like texture, which is awesome because I certainly have texture. So I'm really, really excited about these. They're beautiful. Casey and Smashbox did such a good job. Okay, and then last but not least, we actually have Kevin Aquan, <laughs> what I thought it was before. Um, but let's go ahead and open this guy up. Okay, so we have right on top a card that says my name, like, I just, I honestly really think that it's crazy that they like have any idea who I am. Just me. Oh my god, this is like a handwritten card. What? That is so sweet. We have this beautiful tote bag. 
that says, be open-minded when it comes to color. Ooh, girl, I need that because you know I get stuck in my neutral ruts. So I'm excited to see what's in here. Oh, we have two little bags, I think. Yes, so let's see what's inside. I always feel like a kid on Christmas <laughs> when I'm opening these boxes up. This is the Neo Setting Powder. Looks really luxurious. Looks like a gold bar, for Christ's sakes. Their stuff is like so pretty. I was in Sephora and I saw they had like a, this beautiful highlighter that looked like holographic and I was like oh, dreaming of it, but I don't think that this is what that is, but I could be mistaken. Oh my God, it comes in like a velvet pouch. <gasps> this is so, so sweet. Oh my God, this is so nice. This is like beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Can you guys see this highlighter? First of all, it is so big. Like the. Oh my. <gasps> you guys, this is so buttery. This is so pigmented. I, don't, I, I honestly don't even know if I'm ever going to use this because I've just like, this is just so beautiful. I just want to like put it on display. What? Girl. This is beautiful. Let's see what's in the next box. I literally, I'm like, that's crazy. That is so, oh, this one has like a lot of stuff in it. Okay, so this one we have the Molten Lip Color. So let's see what these look like. That looks really, really pretty. I guess these are liquid lipsticks. Unless they're lip toppers, which they could be. Ooh, yes, girl. That is so pretty for summer. If you wanna do like a dripping in gold bronzy goddess tutorial, that would be so pretty. We have, oh, I think these are all of the molten lip colors. Yes, okay, so let's look. This one is in this shade copper. I'm assuming it's gonna be copper. Yes, we have a copper one, because the original one that I opened was in the shade gold. Okay, <laughs> so they don't have the most creative of names, but that's almost better because then you know what it is, you know? Um, this next one is carbon, so I'm assuming it's gonna be like a black. This one almost looks like um purpley, actually. Then titanium. That is really pretty. Bronze. And then last but not least, rose gold. Ooh, you know we have to swatch this one. You know it. <gasps> This is my kind of color. This is my kind of color. And you know what I really like is they have the curved wands, which are so much better to apply. That is so pretty. Okay, sold on the rose gold right there. <gasps> yes. So yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff that I got. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below before you guys leave today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.